Hello, my little library friends. It's time for online story time at the Red Bank Public Library with me, Miss Sierra. And I gotta tell you something. It's Read Across America Week. You know what you do in Read Across America Week? You read books! And that's what I love to do. So that's what we're gonna do today. Listen. Read Across America is an initiative of the National Education Association, and they want us to celebrate the diversity of our nation as we read. So I've got two great books today that are gonna do that in three ways. Number one, they celebrate diversity. Number two, they're gonna be fun to read because number three, they're a little silly. And one of them is extra special, I'll tell you about that in a minute but first we gotta sing a song we gotta kick off read across america week by singing a song oh how about we do something mysterious and not sing a song let's do a rhyme about books ready get your hands together this is our book now open it wide and look at all the pictures you have inside Use your imagination. What's your picture look like? Okay, now make a ball that's big and round and throw it in the air. Woo! Catch it. Now roll it on the ground. There it goes. Okay, now make an umbrella and hold it up high to catch all the raindrops that fall from the sky. And now make a roof, pointy roof over your head. And now make a bed. Okay, that's where we snuggle in tight and lay our head. Wake up time. We gotta wake up because I've got a good book to read to you. The first book I think I'm gonna read is called Bodies Are Cool. It's by Tyler Fetter. This is a really good book. It's new to the library and I wanna share it with you. It's a rhyming book. And make sure you check out all these pictures while I'm reading this book, okay? It goes like this. Big body, small bodies, dancing, playing, happy bodies. Look at all these different bodies. Bodies are cool. Lanky body, squat bodies, tall, short, wide, or narrow body, somewhere in the middle bodies. Bodies are cool. Round bodies, muscle bodies, curvy, curvy curves and straight bodies, jiggly, wiggly, fat bodies. Bodies are cool. Dark skin, olive skin, every shade of brown skin, pinky pale or peach skin, bodies are cool. Have you seen anyone that looks like you yet in these pages? Poofy hair, wavy hair, springy curls and flat hair, lots of hair or no hair, bodies are cool. Leg hair, armpit hair, fuzzy lip and chin hair, brows meet in the middle hair, bodies are cool. Ooh, hazel eyes, brown eyes, mono lids and round eyes, blind and wearing glasses eyes, bodies are cool. Crooked faces, bump nose faces, flat nose, full lip, gap tooth faces, stick out ears and thin lipped faces. Bodies are cool. Freckled bodies, dotted bodies, rosy patched or speckled bodies, dark skin swirled with light skin bodies. Bodies are cool. Hairy fingers, wrinkly fingers, dimpled elbows, chubby fingers, wobbly arms and stubby fingers. Bodies are cool. Oh, soft tummies, saggy tummies, flatter, sticky, outy tummies, innies, outies, pregnant tummies. Bodies are cool. 
thick legs, scrawny legs, knobby knees and long legs, roll up to the table legs. Bodies are cool. Faint scars, bold scars, stripes from getting bigger scars, marks that tell a story scars. Bodies are cool. This body, that body, his and her and their body, however you define your body, bodies are cool. Growing bodies, aging bodies, future rearranging bodies, magic ever changing bodies. Bodies are cool. My body, your body, every different kind of body. All of them are good bodies. Say it with me. Bodies are cool. And all their shirts say, I love my body. I love my body. I love my body. I love my body. I like this book. Have you ever noticed? That we all have eyes and a nose and ears and hair and skin and teeth and arms and legs but we all look different and the moral of this story is no matter what your body looks like bodies are cool how about we sing a song that celebrates our body it's called Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. Let me find it on my song ball. Woo, 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 woo. There it is. Ready? We're gonna do it. Start slow, and then we go faster, faster, faster. Okay, let me take my glasses off so they don't fly in the air. You might, <coughs> excuse me, you might see me disappear, but keep on going, ready? Let's start slow. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Do your eyes and ears and mouth and a nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Let's go faster. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Two eyes and ears and a mouth and a nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Now we're gonna go super fast, here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Two eyes and ears and a mouth and a nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> I know I must look silly when I'm doing that for you, but it's fun. That's a good song. You could maybe even go faster. I'm gonna let you try that at home. I'm gonna tell you about this next story that I wanna read. This is becoming a special book for me. I'm gonna tell you why. It's called Room for Everybody. It's by Naz Khan. And it's a book that takes place in Africa. And I don't know if I ever told you this, but I was born in Africa. I was in a country called Mali. And the main character of this book, his name is Musa. And that's my brother's name. My little brother's name is Musa. And guess what? The name Sira and Musa are books, are, are names that you hardly ever, I've never seen them in a storybook. So it's so exciting and special to me. So as I read this story, in the story, there's Musa and his sister, they call Dada. That's a Swahili word for it, but every time it says Dada, I'm gonna say Sira, because I'm gonna use my imagination and pretend that it's me and my brother. All right, this is a counting book. So get ready, I hope you know how to count to 10. Pretty sure you do, but this is gonna help us practice. Ready? It says, the Dala Dala rumbled and roared and Musa and Sira were off to the shore to feast on fish at the Friday Bazaar by the blue crystal waters of Zanzibar. Oh, this is also a rhyming book. <clears throat> 
Soon after zooming past the Zuleika Street, they saw one old man and his bike with no seat. So the driver honked and pulled to the side and asked, dear brother, do you need a ride? It's hotter than peppers out there in the sun. Come in, there's room for everyone. But Sierra, said Musa, I don't think there is enough room for that man and his cycle of his. Don't worry, Musa, there's space galore. If you move just a bit, we can make room for more. So in came the man with his sweaty old feet and his bike with no bell and no light and no seat. And after some wiggles and giggles and fun, they made enough room for everyone. Next, they passed the Bagala boats and a herder appeared with two little goats. So the Dala Dala pulled to the side and the driver yelled, do you need a ride? It's hotter than peppers out there in the sun. Come in, there's room for everyone. But Sierra asked Musa, can there really be enough room for a cycle? Two goats and me? Of course there is. If we squeeze a bit, we'll make enough room for us all to fit. And though the seating arrangement was tight, Musa could see that Sierra was right. After a shuffle, a squirm, and a squeeze, they found a small space beside Sierra's knees. Onward they went with a honk and a toot till vendors appeared with three, one, two, three, baskets of fruit. So they pulled to the side and as you can guess, Musa cried out and began to protest. Mangoes and melons and parachichi, we don't have the space, please listen to me. But up came the baskets of tropical fruits and down dripped the juices on ankles and boots. And everyone wiggled and everyone giggled galore till somehow they carved out a space on the floor. See how they're squeezing everyone in? Well, onward they puttered past palms and sails till a farmer appeared with four shiny pails filled with milk all the way to the top. So the Dala Dala came to a stop. The Dala Dala is like the bus or the truck that's carrying them. We can't, we mustn't. I do not see where he could possibly sit, Musa cried in despair. But the passengers wiggled and somewhere, somehow, they made space for the farmer and milk from his cow. Let's see, that was one, two, three, four. So what number's gonna come next? The Dala Dala drove past some farms till they saw five mamas with fish in their arms. One, two, three, four, five. So the conda stuck his head outside yelling, sisters, hello, do you need a ride? No, cried Musa, this rickety bench has no room for those fish and their ickety stench. That means pee But the passengers wiggled and squished on the floor and made enough room for the ride to the shore. Six minutes later, a farmer was walking with six stinky chickens that wouldn't stop squawking. And right there beside them were several fellas carrying seven contingue umbrellas. Let's count the umbrellas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We made umbrellas in our rhyme a minute ago. Hop in, someone shouted. Get out of the sun. There's plenty of room for everyone. Musa resisted. These chicken are fat and seven umbrellas. There's no room for that. Sierra insisted. Just open the door. So everyone wiggled and giggled galore and eventually found enough room for more. Can you see them? Soon they were making a turn down the lane where a vendor was carrying eight sugar canes and nine tender coconuts fresh off the tree. What yummy, refreshing, sweet drinks these could be. 
The passenger shouted, do you need a ride? And as you can guess, Musa worried and cried. This is outrageous, we can't let them in. We're already smushed like sardines in a tin. Though it was clearly a very tight fit, they wouldn't give up. No, nope, they just wouldn't quit. So in came the coconuts, tender and sweet and the sugar canes tangled between people's feet, tickling everyone's toes as they wiggled until even Musa started to giggle. <laughs> there he is. A few minutes later, they stopped for fuel, which happened to be near a diving school where 10 divers were ready to go with suits and gear and tanks in tow trying to get in on all the commotion so they could explore the Indian Ocean. But was there room for all their stuff? Did the Dala Dala have room enough? This is a lot of guys, right? And gals, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see. And though the Dala Dala was packed from top to bottom and front to back, Musa yelled out, come join the fun. We'll make enough room for everyone. So the swimmers with snorkels and tubes and fins wiggled and giggled and wriggled right in. There's no words on this page. There's Sierra and Musa and everybody in the Dala Dala. Wow, they are really stuffed in there. Tire, the tires were reeling and spinning and burning. The passengers sweating and twisting and turning. Elbow to shoulder, beak to nose, feathers to feet, udders to toes. What a sight to see, what a comical crew, stuck together like globity glue. They clunkety clunked like junk in a trunk. So close to a breakdown, kerplunkety plunk. Whoa, 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 whoa. When suddenly all of them heard a screech. Ah! Umdala, they'd arrived at the each. Out came 10 swimmers with snorkels and fins who ran to the ocean and dove right in. Out came nine coconuts, fresh and tender, and out came the whistling coconut vendor. Out came the eight sticky sweet sugar canes with seven umbrellas for sunshine and rain. Six stinky chickens and five piles of fish Four heavy pails full of milk, so delish. Three big old baskets of fruit for a treat. Two little goats and a bike with no seat. Can you see the bike with no seat? That guy started it all. At last, at last, they had finally reached the blue crystal waters of Nungui Beach where Musa and Sierra and everyone could wiggle and giggle under the sun. And that's the end. What do you think of that? I had fun using my imagination. A book is all made from the imagination, a storybook anyway, of the author and the illustrator. This illustrator's name is Merce Lopez. And I think the illustrations were great. I got to use my imagination and pretend that that was me and my brother on a crazy adventure. And we got to practice counting up to 10. So let's do a little one, two, buckle my shoe and practice counting to 10. Where's one, two, buckle my shoe? There it is. Ready? All right, here we go. One, you gotta use your fingers. One, two, buckle my shoe. Good. Three, four, shut the door. 
five, six, pick up some sticks, seven, eight, lay them straight, and nine, ten, we always do it again. Here we go. One, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, shut the door, five, six, pick up some sticks, seven, eight, lay them straight, now nine, Ten, we do a big fat hen, like in the book. Imagine if there was six chickens running around in your car or your house. That would be an adventure for sure. Some people have chickens at their house. Not one of my neighbors does. That'd be kind of fun. Anyway, listen. We've already gone for a little while here. We had some longer stories today. So thank you for joining me. Read Across America Week. I want you to practice reading at home and enjoy a good book. All right, I'll see you next time. Hey, we're starting in person. Story times back at the library next week. So maybe I'll see you here inside the Red Bank Public Library. Okay, bye friends.